Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will going to talk about how we can use the tab sets within the Shiny dashboard or the Shiny web application. So as you might have seen in many web applications or many websites that you have different types of tabs like presented over here. We have the data tab where we have just shown the data. Next you have the summary tab where we have shown the summary information and then you have the plot to show the plot. That means the basic idea is that you just have one central location to display all of your metrics and charts and how you can best utilize your centralized space with this multiple information or if you have like five or six different tabs for showing different types of charts and metrics then how you can utilize this just single space for this much of information. So we will see first of all how we have created by looking at the basic code which is required to produce these types of tabs and this information in each of the tab like how they are connected and how we have just segregated entire information and currently if you will see this drop down which is not impacting any of the tabs over here we will see how we can connect it so that our application is dynamic and responding to the user input. So let's go ahead and first of all review the code. So what I'll do, I will just open up this my shiny application code and shiny application code is very very simple. If you look at this is the select input which is nothing but it is taking CYL cylinder AM automatic or manual transmission and gears. So if you don't know about this data, let me tell you a little bit about data about how it is coming up. So what I'll do is I will just stop the application and what I'll do is put STR which is structure of empty cars data set. So that is a data set inbuilt data set I'm using. So as you can see CYL is basically part of this empty cars data set here. And what I'm basically saying over here that use the CYL which is there in the empty cars data set but when it is in front end basically mask it with the text cylinders which is more user friendly. Similarly in case of AM which is automatic or manual transmission over here I'm saying that put in the front end as a text transmission however use AM which is a data set variable or a data set column. Similarly for gears we have the this gear column over here but in the front end we are saying gears. So if I go back to my application since it is disconnected I just stopped it. You can see cylinders and the entire uh, cylinders or, or transmission or gears are coming in the front end. However in the back end they are just using the the data set variables which is AM gear and CYL cylinders. So that's the that's a select input and if I drag it a little bit down and within the main panel we we need to define the tab set panel. So tab set panel is basically an overall structure within which you are saying that you want uh, n number of tabs that means so far I have just shown you three tabs data summary and plot like this data summary and plot. So these are the three different tabs that I have created and first parameter within the tab uh, panel is the text which we want to give it to tab. So in case data summary and plot that is what you have got data summary and plot and then the output which is coming from the server. So first one is the table output this table output. The second one is basically the summary. So we are using as verbatim text output which is useful in displaying the or printing the text which is part of your uh, normal printing like structure of a data set, summary of a data set, things like that. And finally you have plot output to display any plot information like if you remember I was showing you the plot over here, the box plot. So let's go ahead and see it in server. Within server also it is very similar code. If you have seen my previous video it's very very similar. We are just saying that output dollar empty cars and creating a reactive function which is or a predefined function which is render table and just passing the data set name which is empty cars. Fine. Then we are creating the summary by creating another output dollar summ sum and this summ as you can see is used over here empty cars of output 
this one is used as the output here in the ui.org. Similarly, this plot, as you can see, is used over here with the output. So these are the three different parameters are going back to the UI and we are using it as part of plot output, verbatim text output or table output. All right, so here, as I was mentioning that we are just displaying the entire data set by passing the data set name. In the second function, we are passing the just the summary, very simple one command. And finally, within the plot, we are passing with the help of with empty cards, show me the box plot. So why I'm, I have used with so that I don't have to specify empty cards again and again here in this case. If I would have not used that, I would have to say box this empty cards dollar mpg empty cards dollar sign and gear which is useful to indicate what how these variables are associated to a particular data set or these variables are coming from which data set because i don't want to specify again and again i just specified it once and i can use any variable with this which is present within this empty cards so this is producing the box plot chart and and finally getting displayed over here within the DAP set panel so that's how they are connected with each of the tab panel by passing these parameters table output verbatim text output plot output and these parameters are present over here in the server so that's the basic idea about it how we can really produce a very simple application within different tabs now the next part is about how we can add the interactivity that means whenever user is giving any input to your application it should be present or it should reflect that input as a part of your uh, operation so first of all in the empty cards data set let's say what we want is uh, for our example M mpg is one of the variable which is present over here or one of the column which is present over here and our requirement is that we just want to show the mpg column and then any of the column which is present here which is cylinders transmission or gear so if that is our requirement that we don't want to show the entire piece but along with mpg column any other column as mentioned over here as an input then i can go ahead and go into the server and i will just simply write within empty cards i will open up the brackets and put a comma anything before the comma is row anything after the comma is column so in columns we want multiple columns like mpg and along with that we want the input which is coming from the user which is here select input and gear so i will just say input dollar and gear once i hit save and just one before one more thing before i go ahead and and run the application is surrounding it by mpg so let's stop what came previously and run this application which is here run it save select it and now we have the mpg cyl value the cylinder value if i want transmission it is changing to transmission if i want gear column it is changing to the gear column so that's how i can very easily uh, add the flexibility to it and make this a uh, more user friendly application which is responding to the res user's responses so summary is uh, pretty much uh, you generally want for all the uh, data sets but again in a similar way if you want to have the summary just for few columns then also you just need to go back and here in the summary empty cars you may need to specify that uh, you want summary for specific column let's say along with mpg here again you want input dollar and gear and save it stop and rerun the application and within summary you have mpg and cylinders and transmission or gear so that that basically helps you consume the information in much better way so that you don't you are not getting all these 15 50 or 100 different columns but only those columns which is which you really want similarly for plot you have the plot for uh, three different gears and here is basically uh, information is represented for gear column 
which is uh, static in nature but if you want the plot by transmission or cylinder again you need to go back and change it in a similar fashion so i am leaving that up to you for doing it into a last example which is plot uh, so that you can go ahead and do some exercise so that's that's mainly about you know different tabs that you can create within the main panel and make it connected to the server for user response and uh, interactivity into your application so that's pretty much all i have for this video and i will meet you in the new video with a new topic